So you wanna get your Christmas lights hung up, but you don't know how much it costs or what to pay. There's a few things we wanna check first. So I'm actually up on a house right now doing something. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to discuss this with you. So on this particular house, we're doing, so this is a house out in the country doing an acreage, right? And we're doing the shop. Now, first thing you wanna do is decide what sides of the house are being done. In this case, we're doing all sides of both buildings, right? So is it gonna be front, front and one like prominent side, like if you're a corner lot, front and both sides, whole house. Once we figure out that, then we have to discuss what layers we're doing. Because on this house, if we come down over here, next thing you have to figure out is where are you hanging the lights? So this homeowner has lights on the lowers, but not on the uppers, because obviously it's a lot more dangerous to work up here, especially in the snow, and there's way more lights. So they hung the lights on the bottom. Now we have to discuss what are we gonna do for lights on the top, right? So in this case, where do you wanna do, are you doing roof lines? Are you doing just the, the flat parts or just the peaks, right? And then once you know what roof lines are gonna do, are you gonna do windows, windows and garage doors, right? Because those are the ways that the costs go up, right? You can go right to some crazy customized stuff, right? So once you know what sides of the house are being covered, and you know what roof lines or what levels are being covered, then you have to discuss what lights and light colors you're gonna use. So you can either use green wire or white wire, right? And then you can either have six inch spacing or 12 inch spacing. So how much space do you want in the lights, right? And then once you go from six inch to 12 inch uh, pricing or um, uh, spacing in the lights, then you have to determine color. Now, these people, they did C9 lights. So those are C9 lights, six inch spacing, and they're uh, uh, cool white and red, right? So we have to figure out, okay, do we want to continue on with that same color? In this case, yes, we are. So now we're gonna do all the sides, right? Double layer, right? So all both the, the lower and the tops, right? We're gonna do all the sides, all the roof lines. We're gonna do six inch spacing, green wire, and red and white. Once we do that, then we measure. So we have to find out exactly how long of light strings we need. And now we don't, um, we don't buy the lights from the store. We do a custom fit. So we make to measure everything. So once we figure out how long it is, then we have to put it together like a puzzle, optimizing the use of where your plug locations are to minimize the number of wires. So we have something called X wire, which is blank. And we put that X wire all around where, uh, you know, to connect certain strings together and to ultimately get it back down to your power plug. So you don't end up with little extra tails because see like on this one there, they ended up having some extra, so it was a little bit long, but then it wasn't quite long enough. Then if you look on the other side, on the other lower, they didn't quite, they didn't quite have enough, right? So they didn't get quite to the end, right? So it's all about having a good plan and putting that plan together. That's how we come out and we do things on site, just like when we do roofing, we come out and we plan out the job, so you end up with the exact light, 